friends, welcome to new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn how to subtract. You'll see how useful and fun it is. Subtracting is the opposite of adding. It's taking away a smaller amount from a larger amount. For example, if we have six balloons, but two of them burst, we've got one, two, three, and four balloons left. Six minus two equals four. A subtraction is represented by this sign, which is called minus. And each of the figures that form part of the subtraction are called minuend and subtrahend. The minuend is the number that we're going to subtract and the subtrahend is the quantity we're going to take away. For example, if a chicken lays nine eggs, but we use six to make an omelette, how many eggs do we have left? How do we do the subtraction? First, we need to place number nine, which is the minuend, the number of eggs that we have at the beginning. Under it, we'll place number six, which is the subtrahend, the number of eggs that we'll use to make an omelette. After this, we place the minus sign on the left side of the subtrahend and we draw a horizontal line under the subtraction's numbers. Now, we can do the subtraction. If out of nine eggs, we use six, we've got one, two, and three eggs. Now we know how to subtract simple figures, but now we're going to complicate things a little more. To subtract larger figures, for example 56 minus 32, we need to write down the minuend, 56, and under it, the subtrahend, 32. Always placing units under units and tens under tens. After this, we place the minus sign and we're ready to subtract. 56 minus 32 is equal to 6 minus 2 equals 4. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. That means that the final result is 24. Easy peasy, huh? Now we're going to complicate things a little more. We're going to subtract with the remainders, but don't worry because it's easy peasy. We're going to subtract 63 minus 45. First, as always, we subtract the units. Three units minus five is, whoops, it's impossible to subtract three minus five. So what do we do? Well, it's easy peasy. We transform one of the tens from the minuend into 10 units and we take them to the units column. Since we had six tens and we've transformed one of them into units, we've got five tens left. We then add these 10 units to the three we had in the minuend, meaning that we've got 13 now. Now we can subtract the units. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. We have 8 units. Now we need to subtract the 5 tens we had in the minuend and the 4 tens that we had in the subtrahend. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, meaning that 63 minus 45 is equal to 18. It's easy peasy, don't you think? Now you have to practice lots because subtracting is very useful and so much fun! Goodbye friends, don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV!